your plate? Plate. What's in your plate? GTA. What's, what's in your plate? Big plate. What's in your plate? Oh, 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 oh. What's in your plate? Plate. What's in your plate? GTA. What, what's in your plate? Big plate. What's in your plate? Oh, One thousand. What's in your plate? Plate. What's in your plate? GTA. What, what's in your plate? Big plate. What's in your plate? What's in your plate? Plate. What's in your plate? GTA. What, what's in your plate? Big plate. What's in your plate? One thousand. GTA. Kisa. What's good? Another day, another video. Hey, GTA, so check this, right? So y'all know social media is like the new newspaper, you feel me? Like anytime before you go somewhere, before you go inside somewhere, when you wake up, you gotta check your phone, jump on the gram, jump on whatever social platform you prefer and check it, you feel me? And see what's going on in the world. So I'm about to go inside Walmart right quick and get a few items. So I was just going through the gram and I came across this video, this video of Boosie, you feel me? Shout out to Boosie, I'm a fan, you feel me? Boosie a legend, Boosie done did his thing but this video right here to me is crazy and i don't know if he's serious or not but take a look at this video i'm a wife house person but last week i got into it with the cook at wife house he tried me like i i, I leave anywhere i go i leave a hundred dollar tip or more so i asked him i brought a potato from my house i say make me some breakfast potatoes all he had to do is chop it up and make me some breakfast potatoes. He say he couldn't do it. I say, you can't do what? It's a bet I won't be back. You get paid $2 an hour, I leave a $100 tip every time. I brought a potato from my house, he won't make me breakfast potatoes. I say, I'm done with you. You, you ungrateful. Ungrateful. Then look, I tip the chefs in the back who cook. Every time I'm there, I tip them $40. Whatever meal I do. He could have chopped that damn potato up. All right, so y'all just seen the video, man. Y'all let me know in the comments. Is Boosie serious, bro? You feel me? The man talking about something. He done with Waffle House because he's mad because um he took his own potato from his house to the restaurant for the cook at Waffle House to cook for him or chop it up and cook it up for him, whatever. And the Waffle House man told, the Waffle House chef told him, no, I can't do it. And Boosie is mad because of that talking about some he be tipping a hundred dollars, da 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 You feel me? First and foremost, you feel me? Like a hundred dollars for the man to go do this for you and possibly lose his job for a hundred dollar tip. Like what how far that hundred hundred dollars really going really gonna go? You gotta understand a hundred dollars these days is not what it is not what it used to be like back in the days. You feel me? Like a hundred dollars ain't really much these days. And then the man talking about saying, you know, he brought his own like them people can't cook your food that you come from home, you feel me? People, if stuff get contaminated or whatever, they people can't be able to trace anything or what have you. That's why when people got vendors who they specifically get their food from, just in case if something go wrong and they gotta recall the food, they know exactly, they know the source where they got the food from. You feel me? People can't cook cool food from people's house. <laughs> hey, shout out to Boosie though, man. Boosie crazy for that one, bro. I don't know, bro. I don't really think he was serious. What y'all think, fam? The man is really mad talking about something. He be tipping them a hundred dollars. He tipped the chefs forty dollars. Nah, nah, nah. I'm like, bro, them tips would not go far. If them people get fired, bro, like that's definitely possibility of getting fired right there. I, I, I most, I, I most definitely believe, believe hundred percent that a chef would get fired if, uh, if they get caught cooking something from somebody else's house. You feel me? With the same utensils that they use to cook for everybody that they serve. You feel me? Everybody that come in there and purchase food. So. I don't know, fam. I just thought that was a real crazy story, and I wanted to share it with y'all real quick. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments, man. All right, fam. So, anyway, I'm sitting outside of Walmart getting ready to go inside. I got to pick up a few household items. But another reason I'm here, too, because GTFV, man, she been on me, boy, by trying out this Snoop Dogg ice cream. Apparently, Snoop Dogg got some type of ice cream, and V been on me like, yo, Re, check out this ice cream. I need you to let me know about this ice cream. Let me know about this ice cream. She been really, really applying that pressure, you feel me? So I'm like, you know what? V been asking me for me, and she really made a good point this morning. She was like, wow, you can't go to Walmart for me? You, you can't go to Walmart and get the ice cream and try it, but then you go all the way and take a, what that was, an eight-hour trip to Savannah? I'm like, damn, you know what? She got me. I ain't gonna lie, she got me, you feel me? I took an eight-hour trip to Savannah for that good old Geneva's Famous Fried Chicken, but then I can't go around the corner and see what's up with the Snoop Dogg ice cream. So that's what we're here for today. Fam, I ain't gonna lie. It's hot as hell out here today, y'all, all right? I ain't even gonna cap with you, man. That heat is scorching, you feel me? So. Hopefully this, they do have this Snoop Dogg ice cream because I do need something to cool, cool me down, you all right?
Boy, I feel that AC hitting me on the way in. Boy, who would feel way better in here, bro? I ain't gonna, I gotta grab me a few items. Let me just grab a buggy. I mean, I ain't gotta grab a whole bunch of items. But I gotta just grab a few. You feel me? All right, fam, so we in here. Fam, I ain't even gonna lie, I'm in a completely different Walmart today. And I ain't even know they had a deli in here, man. Let's see what the deli, let's see what the deli hitting for. All right, fam, we by the deli right here. This is the hot bar section. I ain't even gonna lie. This hot bar section looking better than the one, um... Uh... No, I'm just looking. Can you help, can you help me real quick? I just wanna know some questions. This hot bar deli looking better yeah. than the one, um... What's this? That's yuca, sir. That's yuca. And what's this? That's ranch. Ranch. Okay. No problem. No, thank you. That's all. They got that. They got the potato wedges. They got the sweet pans back there. Yuca. That mashed potato. That um, I say mashed potato. That mac and cheese looking cheesy. You feel me? Y'all know your boy loves some chicken. That's some regular chicken, I guess, right there. That's the ranch. That's the buffalo back there. Fam, I, this tin is right there. Fam, I ain't gonna lie. This hot bar selection looking better than the one I usually go to. All right, fam. So let's head to uh, look for this ice cream. Fam, I ain't gonna lie. With this whole copyright infringement thing, I'm just starting to know, know this music getting played everywhere. Like, I don't remember coming to Walmart back in the days and the music being so loud. Like, right here in this section right now, it's not that loud, but back there, the music playing kind of loud back there. You feel me? I'm like, since when Walmart used to be jamming like that? It's like everybody want to play music nowadays, man. You feel me? All right, fam, so we in the ice cream aisle, you heard? Let's see where they got that Snoop Dogg ice cream at, man. Cause I remember last time when I came for the Snoop Dogg cereal, that thing was wailing in the back. It wasn't even on the same aisle with the regular cereals. You already had them boys ducked off in the back where the eyes couldn't see. All right, fam, so I'm looking. All right, fam, I think I found it. It's called Dr. Bombay. Well, I ain't gonna lie, well, that freezer colder than the mud. Yeah, it's called Dr. Bombay. This is the Dr. Bombay brand right here. They got a few different flavors. You got the tropical sherbet swizzle. You got the cookies in. You got the coca, coca cookie dream. You got Dr. Bombay s'mores vibes. You got waffle sundae. Why, why this thing frozen like a mug, but these things hard, what? And you got the uh, we got a uh, Dr. Bombay bonus track brownie back there. Yeah, that's about it, but I ain't gonna lie. The two flavors that's appealing to me is uh, the waffle sundaes, syrupy waffle sundaes, and the cookie dream. Coca cookie dream, cocoa cookie dream, chocolate milk ice cream with chocolate chip cookies. Oh man, I don't want no double chocolate. I thought it was like a cookies and cream type of vibe, you feel me? Like vanilla with cookies in there that's what i'm looking for i ain't gonna lie we're gonna just have to go with the syrupy waffle sundaes let me see which one i want hey fam i'm in walmart and i bump heads one of the gtf man what's good man what's, good? what's going on I'm chilling where you see me at tiktok <laughs> yeah. oh one for the who <laughs> that's what's up man appreciate your support fam Thank you. Thank you so much. Hey, how y'all doing? Sorry for disturbing y'all. Got a question for y'all, right? You see my opinion, right? You see, I'm no soup dog, right? Yeah. What's your favorite soup dog? I can't think of what I'm talking about. Well, first of all, the English soup dog got this ice cream that just came on. So you got cocoa cream, cocoa cookie cream. Sundays, s'mores vibe, and uh, tropical sherbet swizzle. 
I'm having a tough time deciding which one should I go with you, man. I think that s'more's gonna be fire. And that waffle spending gonna be fire. Yeah, I was thinking, yeah, I was yeah. thinking about this one too, yeah. Definitely. Okay, okay. Appreciate Definitely. it. Right. Thank you. Friend, y'all here, I'm going with that Sunday. Excuse me, man. We in the whip yard, and we got the goods yard. Hey, y'all see my face? It's hot outside. Inside, you just, just that quick. Just that quick from walking from the front door outside to the whip, which I'm not parked very far. Your boy is sweating profusely, all right? But yeah, man, we got the goods. Uh, some people said they like the s'mores. Had a couple people said they like the s'mores. A couple people who said they like the syrup waffle sundaes so i got both of them but i'm only gonna review one right now you feel me all right fam so i ain't gonna lie it was so hot i had to cool down before i started the video right all right so now we about to go ahead on and start so now the house the snoop dog ice cream is called dr bombay so i went online and looked it up a little bit and it says who is dr bombay and it says an nft turned irl sidekick to snoop Dr. Bombay is a charismatic, outgoing, and playfully mischievous bored ape that brings a new element of unexpected fun to Snoop's life both on social media and in person. So that's what it is, you understand me? So that's what uh, Dr. Bombay is. So uh, we about to go ahead on and get into this ice cream. All right, fam. So the, we got the Dr. Bombay. I got to use this napkin because it's kind of sticky on the outside. Dr. Bombay syrupy waffle sundaes, you heard? And it says waffle ice cream with waffle pieces and a brown butter syrup swirl. So we're about to go in here and open this thing up. This snack is not enough. Let me hold it with the bag, bro. I'm trying to get my hand all syrupy and sticky. So, okay, take the top off. I'm about to take this little wrap thing off. This little cover off. Most definitely smell like um, syrup and some type of waffle uh, smell as well. All right, fan, that close up action. Y'all see what that thing looking like? I think I see the little waffle pieces in here. It's supposed to have that swirl, but it's so frozen. It's still kind of frozen. It started melting at the top, but it's still kind of a bit frozen. So it kind of don't give you that. I guess that swirl that I'm looking for, or that swirl I was expecting to see. But y'all see it, fam. All right, fam, here goes nothing. Still kind of frozen a bit. Y'all see it? Hit that bit. Bit? Mmm. Okay. Mmm. Hit that bit again. Y'all see it? Bit? Creamy, sweet. Um, sweet and creamy. I would say this thing swimmy. Hit it again. So you got that vanilla flavor. And then you got that syrup flavor on, you feel me? Mixed into there. That blends well together. And one of the things I like about this is the pieces of waffles that's in here. I mean, they're not too visible because you got the ice cream on them. I don't know if you can see a little piece of that uh, waffle on there. But it's most definitely adding that texture, you feel me? Like a nice... Because it's cold, it seems like it's a crunchy texture, but I like it. 
because it's frozen, it's straight from the freezer. Mm. Here's some good ice cream. See, I don't eat ice cream that often. I don't eat ice cream that often because I don't want this to leak in the car. You know, ice cream can be so, ice cream is really sweet. So, to me, well for me, I don't eat it all the time, you know what I'm saying? Only getting older. Can't eat something so sweet all the time, but I do like ice cream. And uh, if I was going to go buy some ice cream, I would most definitely buy this. Okay, I can see it. As we get closer to the bottom, to the part, so the top was kind of um, melty a little bit. As we get closer, you can see the uh, the waffle pieces on there. I don't know if y'all can see that real good. It gives me a cookie and cream type of vibe with the waffles in there. But instead of cookies, it's waffle chunks or waffle pieces. I don't remember how much exactly I paid for this. Because I bought so many things together. All I know, I went to Walmart and I bought like six or seven items and I spent $42. It's crazy. But, this ice cream is well worth it. This is the uh, syrup waffle Sunday. I also got the s'mores at the house. I might do a review on that some other time. Maybe a short form video. They also had the uh, tropical sherbet swizzle or something like that, but you know, that was more like a fruity ice cream to me. And fruity ice creams are cool. I don't hate them, but I'd rather have the sweet ice cream. Like I'd rather have something like, you know, like vanilla, cookies and cream. And now, one of my favorites is going to be the syrup waffle sundaes, you heard? This thing, right? Mm. Mm. That's going to make me eat the whole container. I said it's creamy, it's sweet. It give you that syrup vibe, with that waffle vibe. Great creation. creation I like it this alternative to that cookies and cream I love cookies and cream cookies and creams are my favorite ice cream I ain't gonna this fall on my list is number two right now because it's giving me a cookie and cream type of vibe it just with the syrup and the waffle pieces bro. Is this supposed to be like a breakfast ice cream? Does it got waffles and syrup? Mm. Bam. I'm like I need like half. 